Tell me, what do you think about when you're out here all by yourself? Everyone. Good morning. Um, in this video, we are focusing on the art of being alone, but not lonely. As you guys know, I really enjoy being by myself, and I also overextended myself last week meeting up with friends, so I'm very much in my little introvert, I need hibernation mode. There is a subway. The subways in this neighborhood are above ground. But anyway, as you know, like I have no issues being alone, um, so I asked you guys actually for what's holding you back um, in terms of why you don't feel comfortable. So we're gonna talk about that in a place where I'm less likely to be hit by cars. But basically just welcome to the video. Uh, I'm about to go do something that I hate, my least favorite alone activity, which is eating alone. But I'm starving and I need lunch before I get hangry. Let's go. <laughs> welcome to the video. <laughs> Hi. Hello. So I'm going to go into all of your responses to like why you're not comfortable being alone or uncomfortable in certain situations, which I they're all so valid. Totally understand. But the one that I think is the most interesting and the mm, dare I say the easiest one to crack, I'm not sure, is sitting in a cafe by yourself or going to like a park or something where you're just kind of sitting alone obviously like so many people mention just safety issues and i get that um so definitely consider your personal surroundings each time but just in terms of okay you've got yourself to the cafe you're gonna sit down you're terrified why and i think a lot of people said it tied to anxiety which i think is definitely valid and something that kind of didn't hold me back but i experienced it like i would sit in a cafe and feel anxious. I always felt like from when I was little, I always felt like I was being watched and like not in a necessarily malicious way, but just like I'm, I felt constantly watched even when I was like alone in my home. Um, which if you want to get into superstitions about that, you can, but yeah, I, I definitely felt that anxiety of just like constantly feeling watched. I would fidget a lot, but that made me 
force myself to find coping mechanisms really quickly. And so one thing that I always recommend is to like have something to do. It is warm, but it is not flip-flop season. I've seen a lot of men walking around with flip-flops recently. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, I always bring a book. I have a book with me um, or a journal or literally like if you don't have a journal, I literally like grab a napkin and always have a pen in my bag. And even if I don't have anything to write down, simply having that like writing tool in your hand and the potential that you could be journaling, you could be about to write. You're on the precipice of writing a poem that changes the world, you know. Um, how many incredible songs have been written on the back of a napkin? So have something there, whether you're doodling or anything, that really, really helps me because if even if my mind is like going a mile a minute and I'm super anxious, having that tool or having that book or something like that really makes me feel like to other people, if I am being watched, which you aren't, spoiler if someone were to look at me and be like who is this weird girl sitting by herself <laughs> and see even if people talk to you when you're all by yourself and they notice you they're probably gonna be nice about it everyone wants me to go sit inside i have a hot tea and it's actually really nice out i don't know <laughs> so yeah, just having like something to do will help quiet your mind and distract you from whatever's going on. Um, I lose myself in books. Like if I have a book, I will be gone. I'm no longer in the cafe. Physically, I might be in the cafe. Mm. Physically, I might be in the cafe, but my mind is so far away. <laughs> so that's kind of my main tip is to go somewhere and have something to do and i always recommend starting off slowly so if you don't want to sit down and stay somewhere that's a difficult thing i think in the beginning i'm so comfortable i could all day walk around by myself because you look like you're doing something right um and there's new things to see there are distractions like your mind never gets my mind at least never gets quite quiet enough if i'm like walking around and just observing things um so if you aren't ready to like sit down and be still in a cafe such as this one which is so nice i'm at camel i think this is their first location actually if you aren't ready for that go for a walk by yourself go to the grocery store by yourself even if you don't need to buy anything just walk around go do things where you're in motion that's helpful do not go to the gym by yourself oh my god that's one thing i still can't do like i hate going to the gym by myself <laughs> And I kind of hate going with people too, so I just don't like the gym. I would recommend definitely like this man here, go for a bike ride by yourself. Even if you feel like you've done something embarrassing, like if you trip and fall, just walk faster. And by in like a couple minutes, you'll be surrounded by people who never saw you before, didn't see you trip. Said it before and I'll say it again, but I think that being comfortable being by yourself is something that you kind of need to tiptoe into. So yeah, go to the bookstore by yourself and browse little things like that again when you're in motion and then you can leave whenever you want to like if you're if you're anxious in a cafe and you haven't finished your drink and you're like oh, i can't leave um that might make you panic understandably um so go to a place where you can bounce the second you're done just get the hell out of there it's a mysterious knocking noise coming from this semi-abandoned building that's basically just what I was musing on as I was kind of walking around by myself. Also, in the cafe this morning, and there were me, one, two, three, eventually four other girls that were sitting there by themselves with their laptops, looking really cool. Everybody was so just like, I wanted to be their friends and I don't know why. I think when you're anxious about it, you don't notice how many other people are by themselves. I had that happen once. I think I told the story a long time ago, but I was in New York. I was a student. I was on the subway. I was feeling suddenly really self-conscious and anxious and just like, what do I do with my hands? This is, I mean, I still don't think in New York you can use your cell phone um, on the subway. <laughs> I think you just kind of give up on Wi-Fi and everything once you go underground. But like, I didn't, I didn't have social media at the time. And so I was sort of like, what do I do with my hands? Where do I look? Like, <laughs> I, I still hate that on the subway. Like, do I make eye contact with the person in front of me? And I was kind of having this panic attack and I was going from the Bronx to downtown Manhattan, which is an hour or so. It was gonna be a long ride if I was not in the right mental state. And it just sort of clicked. I looked around and I was like, every single other person on this train is alone. I think 
there might have been a woman with a baby, but babies don't count. And I didn't even I didn't even really notice because I was so deep in my panic and so deep in myself that I was like, everyone must think that I'm such a strange girl. And now here I am sitting in a foreign country talking to my camera in front of various people walking around and it's I've I've gotten used to it. So anyway, yeah, just practice makes perfect, but I, I highly encourage you. It's just something that is not quite as scary as you think. A lot of other people are alone. No one's looking at you. Anyway, I am going to move inside because I realize now it looks like I'm making it seem like there's no seats inside when there totally are. So I'm going to head inside with my tea, read my book, and um, chill out. I also have made many friends in cafes because of sitting alone. I've made friends with like cafe owners, for example, because they're curious, like, what the hell are you doing in my cafe? <laughs> but that's my little pet project for you. That's if you have not, if you have cafes near you where you are able to sit or you have a park where you are able to picnic or something like that, go sit by yourself for a little bit. Or if you're like level zero, go for a walk by yourself, go to a convenience store by yourself, go to a grocery store, go to a bookstore, go anywhere by yourself as long as you feel that you are safe. And yeah. I wish you the best of luck. So I'll see you back at home in a little bit. I'm going to finish this book that's been on my TBR for a very long time and it's very short. So wish me luck. See you later. As we head across town this morning, I would like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is a place to host your online presence, whether that is a blog or a community service or even a shop. They have a bunch of features like a comment section, email subscription lists, ways to connect your social media accounts, and also monetization features, again, for any kind of shop experience. And setting up a website is easy thanks to their free templates. It's really simple and you can actually go right now to squarespace.com and set up up that website using the free templates and once you think it looks good you're ready to launch you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes to get 10 percent off of your first website or domain so thank you again to squarespace for sponsoring this and let's head on with our day okay so today i am heading to a new cafe a place i've never been to before um i also just went to uniqlo because i needed to buy socks and then they have really cute male the like the quote-unquote guys clothing the guys jackets are really good for spring this year just so you know so I picked up a jacket but I'm also heading to two places where I know people I'm heading back to a bookstore to pick up a book that I saw last week and I I've talked to this bookstore owner uh, quite a few times and then we need to go pick up my ceramic so like in case you were to suddenly feel lonely on your day out you could know that okay but in my future there's a friend so that's one coping mechanism. Luckily for me, I'm just mainly excited to go to this cafe. So my cafe curiosity always wins out over any feelings of loneliness. So let's go. It's called the Origami Club. To drive, you learned to swim. You learned to lie. Some of the things within you learned to write, you learned to speak, you learned to care for other people's needs. She told me I was her first customer of the day and she was like, you know why this is gonna be a great week? It's International Women's Day on Friday and I didn't even know that. So please go check out that bookstore. She always has like one book maybe or one or two 
um, usually poetry books that are both in Korean and English. This is a collection of Mary Oliver poems um, that she recommended to me last week and couldn't stop thinking about it so I came back. Yeah, just wonderful. She's got a bit of stationery and art as well if you want to check it out, but always recommend. She's so sweet. Now I'm going to, oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna get lunch <laughs> and then we're gonna head over to Uljiro, okay? Busy day. I'm trying to get better at like having more than one item on the agenda for the day. I feel like when a lot of times I will like have one thing and I let it just take over my whole day. Like, oh, I can't do anything else because I need to go here today. Um, I'm trying to do multiple things. I can fit stuff in in the day, you know? So we're checking things off the list and it feels good, but there is soon to be in our future. Happiest day. Grounded for more than five years And I'm terrified for you now Shall the woman I once knew I hope I'll find you Okay, testing, testing, hello. Um, I had grand plans today to take you out to the Han River and we were gonna sit and have a chat. And then I went outside and it is so incredibly windy that it was just not, it was just not gonna happen. It's beautiful, but not for a chat outside. So here I am in my bed and I wanted to just get out my last few thoughts <laughs> about being by yourself and why I think it's so important. And a lot of the feedback I got on Instagram was related more to actual solo travel. So not just the fear of going for a walk by yourself or going to the movies by yourself or something like that. The act of actually traveling. And I thought that those were all really valid and interesting things to consider, which is like obviously number one, safety. Also things like cost. It's cheaper to split a hotel room, split a meal, split a taxi cost. So for those like whether it's safety or like financial things, I think that those are completely solid reasons and aren't necessarily like the audience I'm talking to. It's more people who are just anxious about being by themselves or they feel awkward about it. I feel like feeling awkward is easier to fix than feeling anxious because I know that my anxiety doesn't follow any kind of logical <laughs> rule system. But in terms of just feeling like awkward, I think that that's a confidence thing that can be worked on and, and is just something that takes practice. One thing that I do think was like the main theme for people who were just like not liking to go to nearby events and places by themselves was the fact that you can't share 
your experience with someone. And I feel that so much because that's literally why I started my YouTube channel. Flashback to the end of 2016, my best friend, roommate, coworker, person I was with literally 24 seven, moved back to the US and I was like, cool, what do I do? <laughs> and so my way of still being able to share my adventures and still go on my adventures was to vlog it. That is one way that if you really want to share your experiences, try vlogging it, try taking photos. Um, there's a new journal app on iPhone, which by the way, even if you don't want to use it, please pay attention. There is a feature that is like, can your journal be discoverable by others? And that is automatically toggled on whether you use it or not. So please go to your settings to journal and turn off the discoverable by others mode. Fun thing I learned. My dad, for example, takes uh like whenever he goes on trips he has a journal and he emails it to me there are ways to kind of share the moment even if it's a little bit delayed but i also think that learning to just share that moment with yourself is a really powerful thing i believe it was the purple palace who i absolutely adore if you don't watch her channel you are missing out on so much inspiration but she always talks about looking for a gift every day the world gives you a gift what's it gonna be today and so whenever i'm out and about if i see like an adorable dog that makes eye contact with me i'm like oh thank you that's my gift for today or if you you know see a rainbow or if you get this sudden whiff of a really good smell i don't it could be anything but just like spending your day looking for oh that was my gift the universe gave me something today and it's just mine and that like just being able to share things with yourself and like laugh with yourself is such an important thing to kind of cultivate and I think that that also leads me to just the amount of inspiration I feel when I'm by myself. I think that when I'm with other people I'm much more focused on them to the point where like you know talking to my friends and things like that I might let little things go unnoticed but when I'm by myself and things are a lot quieter and I'm just being very observant I notice these little beautiful things that inspire me whether that is inspires me to write inspires me to take a photo something like that when I'm with other people my mind never gets to a point where I can be like at a quiet place to kind of dwell on something enough to let it inspire me or let it become something bigger so yeah I can't remember a single time where I was like with someone and got the spark of like wow I really want to write something you know like it for me it only happens when I'm alone and then my final thing for why you should learn to be by yourself is you are so much stronger and so much more capable than you might give yourself credit for. Like I know no matter where I am, I'm confident that if I have trouble, I can find my way out of it. I'm not scared to ask for help. I'm just much more confident in like what I can do and what how I can take care of myself. And I'm also more confident in like knowing what I like, which sounds weird, but I'm very much, well, yeah, I am. I'm I'm a big people pleaser to the point where like I just want everybody to be happy and I want everyone to have a good time. So if I'm out with my friends, I will always be like, I don't care what we do, you guys pick, right? Like cuz I know that I will be happy with anything. It's not like I'm denying myself some kind of happiness. I will be happy as long as the people around me are happy. I'm that kind of person so I will default and be like yes I am so excited to do something that makes you happy let's do that um I will eat whatever you want to eat you know and again it's I'm I'm not losing anything in this bargain I genuinely feel happy to do these things but when I'm by myself I suddenly realize like wait this is the food I want to eat today and these are the places that I gravitate towards that I'm happiest and like these are the activities I would want to do regardless of who's with me. And I really know now like where my true heart lies, I guess, what makes me really happy, <laughs> just me. Um, and I think if you are a people pleaser, which I feel like a lot of us are, that's such a important thing to practice is just like, you know what? Let's please myself. Like what, what do I want to do if nobody was here? So yeah, I think just solo travel or being by yourself in general has just really 
taught me more about myself. And yeah, it's like just deepened my self-confidence and self-respect and self-love. Um, I think it's just such... I just think it's such an important thing, guys. I'm never going to let this go. I will say that a lot of people um, responded to my post on Instagram saying that they just don't have a place. And that is a big problem in a lot of places that like you don't have a cafe near you. You don't have a public space. You don't have a park. You don't have a library. So that leads me to I would love to hear more from you guys in the comment section. Just talking about like if you still aren't comfortable, why? If you weren't and now you are, what changed? Um, if you've never felt nervous, what's up? Why? Um, yeah, I would just love to talk about this more because it's something I am very passionate about. And yeah, I just, I wish you the best. I'm so happy whenever you guys comment saying that you did something by yourself because you see me doing things by myself. I, I just really, mm, really love it. So I will leave you guys here now. Sorry that this turned into a just me talking at you in bed kind of video but blame the wind and speaking of doing things alone and being confident um i might because of kurt's work schedule i'm just waiting for his text i might have to go see an apartment by myself which is not my favorite thing but it's something i've done a couple times just because realtors have more time on weekdays and it's when Kurt works so at first I was terrified of doing it and now I know that I can do it and survive and so a lot of the awkwardness if you just feel awkward that is something that we can practice our way through so I just get another practice round let's see how awkward or not awkward this one feels today um so wish me luck on the apartment tour and um yeah I'm gonna leave you I'm gonna leave you here I love you all. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this. You can check the description box, but you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off your first website or domain. You can check carrycakes.net uh, for my website. And yeah, we're going to dive in now to spring content. Looks like spring is here. I'm just waiting for the cherry blossoms, which are probably going to come like a week or two earlier been planned yeah i'm a little frantic we're going to the u.s soon so i just don't know the, the next couple weeks are gonna be wild so wish me luck you will see how that goes but yeah just truly thank you always thank you for responding and thank you in advance for the wonderful comment section i'll see you later okay bye